Hi everyone, I'm children's book author and illustrator Grace Lynn. You might know my picture books like this one, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star. Uh, you might know my early readers like this one, Ling and Ting, not exactly the same. Or you might even know my novels like this one, Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. Now, today, what I thought I would do is share with you a little bit from my novel, The Year of the Rat. Now, this book is actually a sequel to my other novel, The Year of the Dog. Now, even though this book is called The Year of the Dog, and this book is called The Year of the Rat, this book is not about dogs, and this book is not about rats. These books are all about my life during my very first Chinese Year of the Dog and my very first Chinese Year of the Rat. Because hopefully you know that in Chinese culture, every year is named after a different animal. And each animal has their own kind of personalities and those traits, their personality traits, are kind of the traits that they lend to the year. So what I thought I'd do today is share with you the very first chapter from The Year of the Rat. Now, if you pay close attention to this chapter, you will learn why there are 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac and why they are the 12 animals that there are. And if you pay really close attention, you'll learn each animal's personality and the traits they lend to the year. So here's the first chapter of The Year of the Rat. Happy Year of the Rat, Dad said as he toasted us with his glass. The clinking noises filled the air as the adults knocked glasses of wine against the kids' cups of juice. It was the eve of Chinese New Year, and my best friend Melody and her family had come for the celebration dinner just as they had for the last two years. Before Melody moved to upstate New York, I always celebrated Chinese New Year with just my family, me, Kiki, Lissy, Mom, and Dad, because we were the only Asian people in the area. But since Melody and her family were also Taiwanese, they came to celebrate the new year with us. As usual, the table was covered with food. Mom had to make enough food for 10 people. Melody also had five people in her family, two brothers and her, fa and her parents, and leftovers. There always has to be food left over after a Chinese New Year dinner because that means you'll have more than enough for the year. So the platters of pork, yellow noodles, roasted duck, soft cotton white steamed buns, fried dumplings, delicate silverfish, and vegetables so shiny they looked polished crowded the table. There was barely enough room for our plates. Ugh, you're the rat, Lissy said at the dinner table. I liked it better when it was the year of the pig. I was lucky then. I rolled my eyes at Melody. She just gave me a small smile. I could tell that since her parents were here and they were guests for dinner, she had to be polite. She couldn't make any rude noises or faces like she normally would with me. But since it was my house, I didn't have to be polite. Oink, oink, I snorted. Lissy's a pig. Pacey, Mom said in a way that meant behave. You're not supposed to say anything rude or bad on the new year, Melody's mom said, or you'll bring bad things into the year. Well, that bothered me. I didn't want a whole year of bad luck just because I said a couple of silly things. I quickly quieted down. In America, Dad said, ignoring me, rats are looked down on, but Chinese people actually admire rats. Why? Benji, Melody's younger brother, asked. They think the rat is very smart and charming, Dad said, and he's first. What do you mean, first? Kiki asked. Well, you know the story of why all the Chinese years are named after animals, right? Mom said. Lissy and Felix nodded, but Kiki shook her head. I remember a little, I said, but I forget. Okay, I'll tell you again, Dad said. And this is the story of the 12 animals of the Chinese New Year, or how the rat was first. A long time ago, so long that you couldn't even imagine it, the Jade Emperor had a birthday. Since he was the Jade Emperor, the king of all the heavens, he invited the animals of the earth to come to his celebration. And, he said, to add to the festivities, it would be a race. The first 12 to arrive would win the prize of a year named after them. So, of course, all the animals wanted this honor. 
but separating the earth and the Jade Emperor's palace was a large and forceful river with violent waves that rose and crashed over and over again like the pounding of a thunderous drum. All the animals worried about getting across. Many animals decided to train and prepare themselves for the event, like athletes before a marathon. One such animal was the cat. Every day he worked, strengthening his muscles, holding his breath, and trying to get used to the water. The night before the race, the cat put himself through vigorous exercises one last time. Exhausted, he went to bed, asking his friend the rat to wake him up in the morning in time to start the race. The rat agreed, but his mind was elsewhere. The rat knew he was a poor swimmer, too weak and too small to manage the river's waves. But he wanted to be an honored animal. He refused to give up. So all night he sat and thought and plodded. In the morning, the rat followed the strong water ox like a shadow. As soon as the race started, the rat made a flying leap onto the ox's back. The rat was so small and so light that the muscular ox didn't even notice he was there. And since the water ox was the very best swimmer, he was easily leading the race. The powerful ox had no fear of the rough wall water he wallowed in every day. Even with the fierce waves fighting him, he moved forward undaunted. But as soon as the Jade Emperor's kingdom was within range, the rat gave another flying leap and was the first ashore. He was the winner. So the rat was rewarded by having the first year named after him. The ox was then second, and then the tiger, and then the rabbit who made it across by jumping from one river stone to the next, the flying dragon, who wasn't first because he stopped to make it rain for some people. The snake, who had wrapped himself around the horse's ankle and scared this horse when he slithered off, causing the horse to jump back, and that made the horse next. And then the sheep, monkey, and rooster, who built a raft together. The dog, and then lastly the pig, who was late because he got hungry on the way and stopped to eat. And so the twelve years were named. And what about that cat? The rat forgot to wake him up in the morning, so he slept through the entire contest. That is why there is no year of the cat. That is also why whenever a cat sees a rat, it hisses and attacks. The cat has never forgiven the rat for not waking him up and making him miss the race. So, the rat was the first of the 12 animals to finish the race, Dad finished. That's why his year is first. So that means Lissy has to wait 12 whole years before it's her year again, I said. I knew I shouldn't, but I couldn't re resist annoying her. Yes, Mom said as she nodded. And you know, since the year of the rat is the first year of the next 12-year cycle, it symbolizes new beginnings. And that means changes, Melody's mom said, and she gave her family a funny look I didn't understand. The year of the rat is the time to make a fresh start and to change things. Melody and I looked at each other. She had a weird look on her face. I felt confused. Changes? I like the way things were right now. What was going to happen in the year of the rat? So, that was chapter one of The Year of the Rat. I hope you get a chance to read the rest of the book. Now, like I said, if you pay close attention to this story, you can tell each animal's personality. So, for example, the rat, he was this small animal. He should never have been an honored animal. He couldn't swim in that water, but he really wanted to be an honored animal, and he really wanted to be number one. So he was very smart, and he was very clever to figure out how to do that. But, so they say, if you are born in the year of the rat, you are very ambitious. It means you have big dreams. They say you are very shrewd and clever. You know how to make those dreams come true. But... They say if you are born in the year of the rat, you have to be careful that you aren't too selfish. Because remember, the rat was so busy thinking about himself that he completely forgot about his friend the cat, and now he has an enemy for life. So that's the story of the 12 animals of the Chinese New Year. I hope you liked it, and next time in my next video, I'm going to show you how to draw a lucky Lunar New Year decoration for the year of the rat. 
And I just have one more thing to say. I have a podcast called Kids Ask Authors, where every episode, a guest author and I answer one kid question. And each episode ends with a kid book review, a kid joke, a kid poem. So if you have a joke, a poem, or a book review that you'd like to share, please send it in and maybe we'll play it on the, co- on the podcast. Thanks so much. Bye.